Hello everybody, my name is Chris and I'm a tutor here at Chegg.com. I mostly do math and computer science and in this video I would like to do an example uh, involving parametric equations. So here we want to eliminate the parameter in the parametric equations uh, and then we want to describe the graph without actually drawing a picture of the graph. So eliminate the parameter means get rid of the t and just express everything in terms of x's and y's. So how are we going to do that? Well notice we have cosine of t and sine of t so we might think to ourselves, okay, do we know any uh, identities or formulas involving cosine and sine that could help us get rid of this? And one thing that should hopefully always jump to mind is uh, cosine squared of t plus sine squared of t equals 1. Okay. Now, we don't really have uh, cosine squared or sine squared, um, but we could modify these equations so that we can actually square both sides eventually. And notice we do have 7s being multiplied out in front here, and that's okay too. Okay, so let's just go ahead and uh, start working through this and see what happens and how to do it. So x equals 2 plus 7 times the cosine of t means x minus 2 equals 7 times the cosine of t. Okay, and then we also have y equals negative 3 plus 7 sine of t. Now what that means is... Uh, y plus 3 equals 7 times the sine of t. All right, now what I want to do is square both sides at this point and then add the results. So in both of these equations, I'm going to square both sides and add the results. So x minus 2 quantity squared plus y plus 3 quantity squared well, x minus 2 quantity squared is 7 squared times the cosine squared of t. So that's 7 squared times cosine squared of t. That's uh, s. And then plus uh, y plus 3 quantity squared. That's going to be 7 squared times the sine squared of t. Okay. Now, how do we simplify further? Well, notice we have a common factor of 7 squared that we can pull out here, 7 squared and 7 squared. So if we pull that out, we're going to have 7 squared times the quantity cosine squared t plus sine squared t. And what's that? Well, hey, that's just uh, 1, right? Cosine squared t plus sine squared t is just 1. So this whole thing is 7 squared times 1. That's a squared up there, which just simplifies to 49. Okay. So what we have just seen is that x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 49. So let's go ahead and write that on page 2. So x minus 2 quantity squared plus y plus 3 quantity squared equals 49. Okay, so that's one part of the problem. Uh, eliminate the parameter and the parametric equations. Well, we did that, and the result is x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared is 49. And then describe the graph without drawing a picture. So we might be tempted to say, oh, hey, that's a circle centered at 2 comma negative 3 with radius uh, 7. Okay, And we want to be very careful because, well, if we were just given this with nothing else, then yeah, that would be true. But we weren't just given this. We were starting somewhere else we started with this whole thing right here. So we have to be very careful. Uh, and specifically, we have to be careful about this. OK. So why do we have to be careful about that? Well, notice that t goes from 0 to pi. And yeah, it's uh, 0 is less than or equal to t is strictly less than pi, but uh, that doesn't actually matter. We don't have to worry about that. Well, the important part is the pi. OK. So pi is always the important part here. So. Uh, in a full circle, uh, we have 0 less than or equal to t, strictly less than 2 pi. But in our case, but in our case here, we have zeros uh, less than or equal to t, strictly less than pi. So t only goes half as far 
octet only goes half as far as it does if we have a full circle. So that means we get half a circle. So we get half a circle. Now the question is which half, and the answer uh, is the top half. And the reason is because, remember, when t goes from 0 to 2 pi, uh, we start out here. I'm going to draw a picture. Um, now I know we said not to draw any pictures, but what we really mean is don't draw a picture of the graph of this right here. Okay. But here, I do want to draw this just for uh, educational purposes so I can explain to you what's actually happening here. So when t, let's uh, make that a little easier to see though. So here we have an x-axis and a y-axis. So when t starts at 0, we're right here. And then as t increases, we go around the circle uh, in a counterclockwise manner. So t equals 0, then t increases to pi over 2, and then t increases to pi, and then to 3 pi over 2, and then uh, finally to 2 pi. So t starts at 0, and then as t increases to pi, we get uh, this upper half circle here. Okay. So again, we have to be very careful that we only have uh, 0 less than or equal to t less than pi here. If this were 2 pi, then yeah, we would have the entire circle, but we only have the upper half circle. So then the answer is uh, to the, describe the graph without drawing a picture. So the graph is the the upper half circle, or semicircle if you prefer, centered at 2 comma negative 3 with radius 7. So notice the center and the radius don't change. Uh, all that's really mattered is, or all that's really affected is how much of the circle do we actually get. Okay. So again, uh, eliminating the parameter gives us x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 49. And then if we want to describe the graph, we get the upper half circle centered at 2 comma negative 3 with radius 7. Okay. So, uh, and if you're wondering where that comes from, that comes from the general formula, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. So in our case here, here's our r squared is 49, so that means r, the radius is 7. And here, h is 2, y plus 3 is y minus negative 3, so negative 3 is k. So that's why the circle is centered at, or sorry, the half circle is centered at 2 comma negative 3. Okay, 2 comma negative 3 with a radius 7. So this has been an example of uh, working with parametric equations, and I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.